Now we're getting deep into the easy stuff. We'll keep it simple. So the freedom key pattern. But what is that? On the guitar neck, you can go out there on YouTube or you can go out there in books and all that kind of stuff. And they'll sh people will show you different patterns, okay? Like for example, the what people call the minor pentatonic scale. Looks like this. People call that the minor pentatonic scale. First of all, a pattern is not a scale. Or in other words, a scale is not a pattern on the guitar. A scale is a series of particular notes. And I can play those particular notes in any number of patterns on the guitar neck. So I can play, if I have five notes, for example, I can play the first note here. I can play the second note all the way up here, play the third note down here. I can play the fourth note up here, whatever it is. However many five notes, I can play them anywhere on the guitar neck. And I can make up an almost unlimited number of patterns. So I wanna be clear that a, a pattern itself is not a scale. A pattern is just a way to play a scale, okay? A scale is a series of a certain series of notes. Now, if you go out there and you look at all the different scales and all the different uh, all the different patterns that are out there that people show you, like like I said, the minor pentatonic scale, which is not exactly accurate, or a major scale, or a minor scale, or the five patterns of the pentatonic scale, or something like that, the problem that we end up with is that there's a whole room, a big pile full of patterns. And we have to figure out on our guitar neck, how do we take all that and connect it all together and make music with it? How do I do that? Well, first of all, that's hard. And it's hard for anybody to do. It takes a really long time. You have to think about it. You have to work into your hand. Well, where is all the, where, where are they, all the patterns and whatnot? This is going to sound too easy and it's going to sound ridiculous at first, but it's the truth and you can test me on it. You can try it yourself and you'll see that it works. When you take all those patterns and you put them all together, if you've ever seen a piano, a piano, it has a bunch of keys, it has white keys and it has black keys. If you, if you kind of step back and you zoom out, you'll notice, or if you've played piano before, you'll notice that a piano is, the, is one pattern that's repeated over and over and over again. It's a set of white keys, and then it's a set of two black keys and three black keys. That together is 12 notes. And if you look back on a piano, you can look up a piano right now, look up a picture of it, you'll see that same pattern with the two black keys and the three black keys is repeated over and over and over and over again on the piano. Now what that is, is sets of octaves. So you have a lower octave, meaning 12 notes at the lower scale, uh, at the lower pitch rather, and then it just gets higher, 12 notes higher, 12 notes higher, 12 notes higher, 12 notes higher, right? And you, you can go up and down a piano. So the piano is more intuitive to play. So it turns out that all those crazy patterns on the guitar neck, when you connect them all together, it actually turns out that there's just one master pattern, which we call the freedom key pattern, that repeats everywhere on the guitar neck from any string, from any fret, anywhere you go, even if your guitar was eight strings, even if your guitar was 30 frets, okay? This keeps repeating all over the place everywhere. Just like a piano, there's one master pattern that repeats everywhere on the guitar neck. The reason why most people never discover this is because most guitars are six strings. And this pattern repeats across seven strings. It's a seven string pattern. So you have to imagine an invisible string. And it sounds complicated, but it's extremely easy. And anybody can use this on any six string guitar. In fact, I use it every single day. If you imagine an invisible string right here, that gives you seven strings. And there's one pattern that repeats, just like a piano has that pattern that repeats. This one seven string pattern repeats all over the guitar neck. Like I said, even if you had eight strings, 10 strings, 12 strings, 30 strings, even if you had 50 frets, it doesn't matter. That one pattern you can use to play in any key, any major or minor key, anywhere on the guitar neck and hit all the right notes literally without having to think about it, okay? Again, I know that sounds too easy. I know that sounds ridiculous, but test it. It's true, it works, it, it's there. And you can imagine a string uh, here, a higher string, and sometimes you have to imagine a lower string. And when you know how it works, Again, you, you, it, it literally is the key that unlocks the entire fretboard. That's why I call it the freedom key. It's a key. In fact, I didn't name it that. One of my earliest students said, uh, it's like the key that unlocks the door to the guitar neck. He called it the free, that's why he called it the freedom key. So I adopted that, that name. So anyway, that's what the freedom key pattern is. It's that one repeating pattern that's, all, that's on a piano applied to the guitar neck. It just happens to have seven strings. And that's why almost nobody ever learns it. 
Yeah, I'm telling you guys, if you haven't uh, checked out the courses, so we have the Guitar Freedom Formula. If you want to check it out, go to Breakthrough BreakthroughGuitar.com, click on the Courses tab, you'll see uh, Guitar Freedom Formula. Uh, you can get access to it, but I, I'm going to say that I've been playing, I've played professionally for 12 years, and I understood there was some kind of pattern, and I could see some things repeating on the guitar neck, um, but when I went through the course and learned the Guitar Freedom Formula, like the actual big repeating pattern, it was it was so eye opening to me, and it opened up every stringed instrument, not just not just guitar, bass guitar. I, I, like I can, I sat down on the ukulele and was able to pick up the ukulele because I realized, oh, there's yeah, this is going to repeat everywhere. Like it just makes sense now. Uh, so if definitely check it out. We got a ton of courses in the description uh, if you check it out on our website. But it will definitely open up your eyes a lot to, to guitar yeah and let me mention that the, that pattern in particular the freedom key pattern which i think is the most important pattern you can ever learn on a guitar obviously like you said really on any instrument uh, it actually will allow you to play any instrument um, because you learn how music works through that pattern just applied to the guitar and you can apply that to any other instrument my point is the freedom key pattern which is what you're asking me about is in the course called guitar grid mastery so you're going to master the grid which is how the, the invisible roadmap that the pros use to hit all the right notes and not have to think about it on the guitar net. Again, sounds ridiculous, sounds crazy, but it's true. Try it. You're, you're going to be able to play all the right notes across the guitar net literally for the rest of your life without having to think about it. It works. Yeah, that's so good. And and if you guys are, you know, you want to jump in and some, some of our courses, we do have a free course in the description of the video. If you're watching on Twitch or Facebook or YouTube, definitely jump in, check out some of our free stuff. Uh, and I honestly think that you're going to get a ton of value from it. Uh, but yeah, Guitar Grid Mastery, BreakthroughGuitar.com. Check it out. So we've got a ton of courses there that you can uh, uh, peek, take a peek on and uh, a lot of good stuff. So, hey, thanks so much for watching that video. That was just a short clip of one of our longer Q&A videos. If you're interested in watching some more of those videos, then I recommend you hit the subscribe button over here. It's really awesome. Also, we got more videos over here, so check some out if you're interested in learning more about Breakthrough Guitar or advancing your guitar skills. Peace.